Anders and I have had a talk, and you and I are going to have to talk about improving your position here. Uh, Why are you dressed up like the dog's breakfast? At the school opening. Of course. Oh, let me get into a frock. Anders, hey. will you give me a hand? With complete pleasure. <laughs> Aunt of what? Hey, Anne, please. How is she? She looks pretty good. Oh, she's wonderful. You helped to do that. I don't think so. Yes, you did. And that's why I love you, because you are a brilliant man. You just need to remember where it all started. I think we should start. Gentlemen. Caroline, can I have a minute? Thank, Thank you, sure. Caroline. My, My dear, dear friends, friends neighbors, neighbors, this is a great day. <laughs> a lot of hard work has gone, gone into, into this school, where our, our children will learn. I'd, I'd like, like to, to thank everyone at Leopard's Den for their hard work. work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she says, how's the old man's back? <laughs> it's absolutely fine, thank you. Caroline, I must talk no, to you. We would like to thank Mara for their very generous check. Yeah. And most of all, I'd like to thank ourselves, because we were very good indeed. And this community, has needed this new school building for... No. Taylor, it's okay. No. Mom, I'll understand if you don't want me. I don't want to spoil this day, it's... And Dad... My son... You are home. <sighs> David... Mom, I want you to meet my wife. Julie, this is my mother. Hello. Oh, a great day! <laughs> Carola, how's the honeymoon? It made me really appreciate Leopard's Den for Tommy. Actually, I've had some very interesting ideas. I want to leave. What? I know, I know, Caroline. You know, you... You've been kind and loyal to me, but Leopard's Den will always be Leopard's Den no matter what I do, you know, which is fine because that's probably the way you want it. And but uh, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've had this dream of running my own business, Caroline, and I've spoken to Max in Cape Town and he thinks Of that... course. Of course what? Yes, of course you must run the bar. I think you'd be marvellous at it. You do? Yes. But... <laughs> 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 hey, you put my wife down. Fatani's going to take over the bar. Oh, the, the bar? Yes. Max's bar? Yes. Oh, Fatani. Yes. You know, you, you've you always been like a son to us. <laughs> Alice, Danny, thank you for what you did. That's what neighbours are for. Sorry I messed up, Alice. Apology accepted. And... I'm really proud of you. Really proud. And now that Lewis has left us, uh, we'll be needing new vets, and uh, we wondered if they might be you. When do we start? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to... Reconciliation? Reconciliation. Reconciliation. <laughs> Reconciliation. <laughs>
Beautiful models, right here, head Mara. Raven has bought a tiger. A tiger, in Africa. Have some more. Ooh! <laughs> Thought you were in trouble. You tell you are now. <laughs> we're always on call, you know that. No, you are. That tiger will pay for itself. Lying to your sister Rowan is dangerous. What Alice doesn't know won't hurt her. 